Hace poco me pidieron que les diera a unos universitarios novatos una oportunidad de valorar uno de los más antiguos sistemas de adivinar el futuro, la astrología. I'm an actor playing the part of a wizard. I know how people are deceived. I know how they deceive themselves. And many magicians, most magicians, really allow people to deceive themselves. Would you like to see me fool you? Who's wearing a wristwatch here? A regular, ordinary wristwatch. Mm. You've been a good girl, haven't you? Yes. Let's just say, oh, I thought it was a Rolex for a minute. Oh, well. <laughs> Now, what time does it say on your watch? It says nine minutes before three, and it says it's the second of October, right? Very good. Open up your hand for me, flat like that. The clean one. Uh, she almost changed. You know that? Almost changed. Now, I'm going to put the watch face down your hand. Put your finger of your other hand on the back of the watch, okay? Very good. Now, my watch says nine minutes to three, so we disagree slightly, but not enough for any never mind. Okay. Watch what happens now. I'm really concentrating on Oh, I think I hurt myself. <laughs> Don't laugh. This is science. <laughs> Let me see now, holding it only by this. Oh, would you tell the folks what time it says on your watch now, please? <laughs> it says 3.40. But... 3.40, how time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Now, let me show you something. This is such a little tiny itty bitty watch. Here, hold it tightly in your hand. Don't lose. Oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What happened? Oh, the gentleman was carrying it over here behind his waist and he didn't even know it. There you go. Wait, you wait, have your watch. El embaucador nunca trabaja solo. El público le ayuda. Si hace bien su trabajo, el público quiere ser engañado. Para la prueba de astrología, les entregaron un horóscopo detallado a cada uno de los estudiantes. Les dijeron que lo había hecho un profesional, basándose en la información que los estudiantes habían dado acerca de su fecha y lugar de nacimiento. En realidad, estos horóscopos no eran exactamente lo que parecían. Les pedí a los estudiantes que clasificaran los horóscopos del 1 al 5 según el grado de precisión de los mismos, siendo el 5 para el más tercero. Let's do a little experiment. You've got your horoscopes right in front of you. Take them in your hand like this and hand them over your shoulder to the person behind you. Okay, everybody? And the guy at the end down there, you'll have to come up to the front because these people in the front don't have one now. Okay? Everybody change them around. Everybody's got a horoscope. Open up somebody else's horoscope and read it carefully, please. Todos habían recibido el mismo horóscopo. Las descripciones de personalidad eran normalmente válidas para todos, como hace poco ha tenido que recuperarse de una decepción. Algunas de ellas parecían específicas porque eran personales. Tu adaptación sexual te ha presentado algunos problemas. Y había otras que cualquiera desearía verlas convertidas en realidad. Posees un gran caudal de capacidad inutilizada. That people are trying to get some control over their lives. Mm -hmm. By knowing more about themselves, of mm -hmm. course, they get control over their lives. But that's what we're doing, all of us, each and every day of our lives. Whether it's financial, whether it's emotional, whether it's a love interest, whether it's health, we're trying to get control of our lives. We're looking for power. And astrology offers you, apparently, a very old and a very easy formula whereby you can do that sort of thing. What you've presented me today is 
evidence that this can be misused or abused, but you have not convinced me that there is nothing to this. Oh, no, no, I didn't intend to do that. Okay, and, and I feel that your exercise today was kind of cynical and one-sided, and somehow it is wise to be um, unbelieving in this. Well, situation. I can't prove it doesn't work. I and, can never prove it doesn't work. And I've work. seen it a lot of times where intellectuals have, had, have wanted to disprove mystical things because since it didn't fit into their framework of beliefs, That's they, true. they wouldn't allow it. But I can't prove to you that Santa Claus doesn't exist. I really can't. I can't disprove anything. I can't prove a negative. But I can show you that it's not very likely to be true. That's the best I can do. Ni que decir tiene que mi mensaje no siempre es bien recibido. Mi amigo Ray Hyman es un psicólogo y tiene una respuesta a esto. We seem to be uh, taken as we're taking something away and not giving something yes. in return. Yes. And these people want something, they're looking for something, and I think we have to understand what is it they're searching for and what they're seeking.